uh, good morning so today we will discuss the lithification and diagenesis so what is lithification lithification is the process which converts the sediments into the sedimentary rock it is generally silt depositional in nature it means it is start just after the deposition of the sediments whereas diagenesis includes all those process which takes place during or even after the formation of the rock so the lithification is silt depositional whereas diagenesis is silt depositional as well as post deposition so lithification includes all those physical chemical and biological changes which takes place during the formation of the rock whereas diagenesis includes all those physical chemical and biological changes which takes place during the formation of the rock or even after the formation of the rock so what are various steps or what are various process of lithification so number one process of lithification is compaction second is desiccation third is cementation fourth is recrystallization fifth is replacement or alteration and sixth is orthi genesis so if you just look at all these various process of lithification and diagenesis these two are compaction and desiccation are physical changes whereas the cementation recrystallization replacement and orthogenesis are chemical changes so if someone is asking about the lithification then we have to write only these three that is the compaction desiccation and cementation and if someone is asking about diagenesis then we have to write down all these six the compaction desiccation cementation recrystallization replacement and orthogenesis then what is this number one that is the compaction compaction means if these are the grains compaction is the process in which the grains they come close to each other the grains they are coming close to each other so how the grains they will come close to each other the grains will come close to each other because of the overburden pressure so because of the overburden pressure the set, the sediments they will come close to each other it means compaction is the process which increases the density compaction is the process which reduces the volume compaction is the process in which the grains they come close to each other it means compaction is the process which reduces the intergranular space or which reduces the porosity there are two type of compaction number one compaction which is uniform which is taking place at every place equally and the second compaction is differential compaction which is not uniform at all Uh, parts of the sediments but which is unequal it is high at one place and low at another place so because of the differential compaction a number of structures are produced and all those structures which are produced because of the differential compaction they are known as growth structures and they are very very useful in petroleum geology for example growth fault growth anticlines generally the fault and anticlines they are post depositional in nature they are produced by the compressional or the extensional forces 
whereas the differential compaction is produced because of the overburden differential pressure and the structures which are produced because of the differential compaction, they are known as growth fault and growth anticline that we will discuss later on in petroleum geology or in syn depositional uh, structures. So compaction is the process which brings the grains together. Compaction is the process which increases the density. Compaction is the process which reduces the volume. Compaction is the process which reduces the intergranular space. Now it is a physical process. The second process is, is desiccation. When compaction is taking place, because of this compaction, the water which is retained within the uh, intergranular space that will come out. So desiccation is basically that physical change of lithification in which water is coming out. This is also known as dewatering. So desiccation takes place because the space which is there between two grains in which the water is accumulated, that space is reducing because of the compaction and the water is coming out. Because of the desiccation, because of the dewatering of the sediments, some very important structures are formed such as Lige gangan bands. Lige gangan bands are different colored bands in the sedimentary rocks which are produced because of the lithification, which are produced because of the desiccation, which are produced because the water is coming out because of the compaction. So these two, the compaction and the desiccation are the important physical processes of lithification. Now the third is uh, cementation, is it very important uh, chemical process of lithification and what is cementation if this is one grain this is another grain and this is third grain and this is fourth grain we need some binding material so cement is nothing but it is the binding material which binds the grains together cement is the welding action cement is the glue action cement is the uh, is the material which holds which binds which welds the grains together. Generally, there are three types of cements, the siliceous cement, the calcareous cement, and the ferruginous cement. So cement is basically the uh, cementing material, is the welding material which binds the grains as well as the matrix together. So we have used a new term and that is the matrix. So what is matrix? Matrix is, is same depositional in nature. Matrix is primary in nature. Matrix is the, is the finer material which fills the intergranular space. So what is matrix? Matrix is the fine material which fills the intergranular space. It is primary in nature. Whereas what is cement? Cement is the secondary material which, which binds the matrix as well as the grains together. So what is the difference between matrix and cement? That matrix is primary whereas cement is secondary. Matrix fills the intergranular space whereas cement binds the matrix and the cement together. So cement is the very essential process of lithification which is chemical in nature. There are three type of uh, cements in the uh, non-plastic sedimentary rock in the limestone. Uh, we will discuss the classification of sedimentary rock later on that there are two type of uh, sedimentary rocks broadly the plastic sedimentary rock and the non-plastic sedimentary rock. Plastic sedimentary rocks are those sedimentary rocks which are produced by the mechanical process of weathering, transportation and deposition whereas non plastic sedimentary rocks are those sedimentary rocks which are either produced by the cane collection or by the biological collection. So there are three types of cement, the Drogi cement, the Blocky cement and the Rim cement. 
Doji cement is basically the needle like structure of uh, aerogonite uh, arcasite. Blocky cement, these needle like structures, they are uh, precipitated in the form of block. And rim cement is like the rim on the outer margin of the veins. So there are three types of cement, the Druji cement, blocky cement and the uh, rim cement. Then the fourth process of uh, these three together, the compaction, desiccation and the cementation, they are known as they are known as lithification, important process of lithification. And these, the recrystallization, replacement and orthogenesis, if included with all these three, the compaction, desiccation and cementation, then that is known as diagenesis. Because the recrystallization, replacement and orthogenesis, they may take place during the formation of the rock or they may take place even after the formation of a sedimentary rock. So what is recrystallization? Recrystallization as the name indicate, crystallization after the crystallization means in this process of diagenesis, the chemical composition remains the same but the size of the mineral increases. For example, the crystalline quartz or silica is formed by the amorphous silica. For example, the uh, speric acid is formed by micrite means the size is increasing because the micrite means we, we can't see the uh, grains, we can't see the minerals because they are of uh, clay size whereas in the case of speric acid we can see the crystal of calcite. The amorphous silica to the crystallized silica means amorphous means there is no shape and size well defined whereas crystallized silica means we can observe the crystal of the silica. So in the recrystallization process of diagenesis the chemical composition remains the same whereas the size of the mineral is continuously increasing. In the replacement process of uh, diagenesis the earlier formed minerals are completely replaced by a new mineral and the new mineral is generally belongs to that family only for example the dolomitization dolomitization and albitization in albitization process the albite uh, that changes to uh, another first form mineral whereas in the case of dolomitization the limestone changes to dolomite. This process dolomitization is very important because generally when compaction is taking place the volume is decreasing because the grains they are coming close to each other and the porosity is reducing. Whereas in the dolomitization process the volume is decreasing whereas the porosity in, is increasing. Why? The porosity is increasing whereas the volume is decreasing in the case of dolomitization because the minerals they are dissolved because the limestone is dissolved if the water is acidic in nature. So dolomitization is that process in which the porosity increases by about 33 percent and that's why this process of dolomitization is very very important in petroleum industry in petroleum geology and we all know that in our country in the Bombay high offshore where dolomite that is the reservoir rock or the petroleum that is content within the uh, limestone. Then the uh, next process is, is orthogenesis. In the process of orthogenesis a new mineral is formed for example pyrite is formed for example hematite is formed. So all these new minerals they are formed in the process of orthogenesis. So these are various processes of lithification and diagenesis. Then there are certain structures which are related with the lithification and diagenesis. Number one is stylolites. They are formed because of the tracer solution. Second Lige gangan bands they are produced because of the dewatering then 
calcrete and conquer they are produced because of the diagenesis they are very irregular structures or uh, nodule shape uh, of calcium carbonate of limestone and and dolomite and they, they they also indicate the diagenesis so this is the process which is responsible to convert the sediments into the sedimentary rock known as lithification and diagenesis thank you